Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm so sorry, I look like a disaster, but that's because I just woke up and my hair's, you know, doing its thing. But I just wanted to come on and do like a Sunday vlog, preparing for the week, um, because normally my Sundays are a little bit crazy because that's a day when I'm free. So um, I pack things into my day and today I am not doing that. So I'm going to clean, do some self care, do a lot of homework because I have two tests this week and I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be good. Um, also, do you like my snowflakes? Just cause it's still snowing here, I feel like it's appropriate to have that. And also it says October, that's on the to-do list, which I will show you in just one moment. So here's my to-do list. It's a little bit random if you like read through it. Um, I go from like cleaning to studying to putting sheets in my bed. So it was kind of like, as I went, <laughs> I remembered stuff I needed to do. But um, this is mostly like my self-care stuff. Um, and see, change calendar. I will do it, I promise. And then my homework, um, it's mostly just studying. I got most of my like actual homework done. And then um, I gotta just do some basic stuff. Yep, there we go. That's what we're gonna do today. I am so excited. Let's get it done. Here is an overview of the craziness that ensued this week. It's not that bad, but it's still just a lot and I want to get it all configured and put away and I'm excited to get it done. So the first oil I chose was Thieves and then Peppermint and Tangerine. Um, these are all good for um, cleaning the air, cleaning the environment and just really preparing um, the room to be cleaned and to open up the systems. This is really good for the immune system and I just felt like I really needed that that day. So I put those in, turned on the diffuser and just let it do the rest of the work for me. This is kind of self-explanatory but I took off all of my sheets in my comforter and I have my other sheets in my dresser so I just got those. Um, it's really nice to have two sets of sheets as a college student because you want to try and do laundry as least as possible so um, that's why I have multiple pairs of sheets so I change them about every two weeks um, or when I feel it's like kind of getting gross um, I feel like longer than two weeks and I just feel not good about it so um, and then I change the pillow cases um, two to three weeks as well. And now I can mark that off my to-do list. The next thing I'm planning on doing is dishes. So I'm gonna put them away first. I had so many in my little storage cleaning rack and so I picked all those up. Um, clearly I don't like to make multiple trips so I <laughs> organized it into one big giant mess. So I put that stuff away um, and then after those were put away then I went back to go finish the rest of the dishes that were laying in my sink. And there were a lot of them so if this video seems really long that's probably why. I had a container that I put salmon in and it had been in there for a couple days so it was kind of gross. So um, I had let that soak overnight and um, I'm just gonna probably scrub it. If you see it twice that's probably why. I'm just scrubbing it a couple of times because it wasn't the best um, thing to clean in the moment. So um, yeah I just had to clean it all the rest of the dishes and then we moved on from there.
next thing I'm going to do was, was to pick up my room. So this is kind of divided into two sections and because my room is so tiny, um, these were like the only two sections I needed to clean. Um, so after a week, my desk is normally pretty hectic and um, filled with stuff. So um, I took some time and put some of that away. Um, there was some stuff for my birthday that I hadn't put away yet and some school stuff. Um, you'll see me bending down in front of a lot of the camera, um, and that's because I put up the camera on my shelf, so, um, a lot of it was going in the shelf, and then I was wiping down my desk and making sure everything was put away in its proper place, and then I had already done laundry, so it wasn't that I needed to really put much away, but I hate my jackets laying out, so I put those away, and then I had some clothes that I was drying on some separate hangers that are not, like, my normal nice felt ones so I transferred them on to the nice ones um and kind of organized my closet a little bit just so that it would look nice for the upcoming week to-do list was to study. 
um, I'm studying for my psych test here, which was the actual following day. And I was making this giant long study guide, which probably wasn't necessary, but um, it really helped me in the long run. I'm just basically typing my notes again. And I ended up making flashcards, which aren't in this um, clip. And then I just finished those. Um, and I went chapter by chapter. So thankfully there were only two, but they were kind of longish. So um, that took me about 30 minutes, I would say, um, to just finish up the study guide. I've decided I wanted to do a hair mask today because well, one my hair is already very greasy um, but also just it's really good to rejuvenate my hair and um, I want it to look nice for next week nothing special is happening besides Valentine's Day but which when this video is posted um, it might have already passed but um, I wanted to do coconut oil it's in a bag because the bottle is like really gross um, and then some tea tree oil, just because tea tree is really good for your hair. So, I'm going to take my glasses off because it's kind of, kind of gross. So, I learned this thing from Kaylin Nicholson. I'll link her channel down below. I love her. Um, she's so motivational and, I don't know, she just has so many good vibes and I love it. So, I'm going to take, um, a little bit of coconut oil. Um except it's frozen because it's really cold here, so it's also kind of cold. Which, if you guys have coconut oil at home, you'll know that it is, um, it gets more solid when it's cold and um, it becomes liquid when it's hot. So, which is really interesting and I think it's so cool. So, I'm gonna put enough where it covers my entire head. Um, scalp, roots, um, all the way down to my ends, so. Um, I'm trying to get enough here. I have a lot of hair, but it doesn't look like it. Um, so I'm going to try and get as much as I can. And then I'll put about, so I have a handful there. And then I'll put about three drops of tea tree oil. And then I'll put it all throughout my hair. And then I'm going to work out. And then, which I'll show you guys my outfit in just a second. I'm almost out of tea tree, so I kind of have to force it out of the bottle. Um, and then I'll take a shower and get all of this out because I don't want it in my hair all day because that's gross. So I'm going to use an elastic now. Um, I was using a scrunchie before, but I don't want it to get gross. So I'm going to put my hair in just a, like a little bun. And then I'm going to just work out and then wash it out in the shower. And it'll make it 
a lot smoother and a lot nicer and um, hopefully not as frizzy because my hair gets beyond frizzy. So yeah, let's hope that all works out well. I'll show you guys later what it looks like. Hi guys, so um, a little bit later today, it's about 2.45. Um, I've decided I want to work out. I just feel really gross and I need a shower and I don't want to shower before working out because that just doesn't make sense. So um, I'm going to work out and I wanted to film it, but um, I'm using my phone as a camera right now and I use the Nike Training um, Club app, which is really cool, really amazing. Um, I think I'm using the four week to lean program. Um, it's just kind of like a getting started of working out because um, I'm really bad at creating my own routines and um, just going to the gym and figuring it out. Um, I can do cardio pretty well and that's fine, but I've been using the Nike Running Club on that one and that is like, it works really well. So I love that too. Um, but I wanted to just show you my outfit. It's nothing too special. Um, but this is my sports bra. It's from Walmart. They were on sale for three dollars. Um, and they work really well. I mean, I feel like it's not, I mean, it's not like the best bra in the world, but it does its purpose. Um, and then this shirt, it's from Forever 21. I'm sure this was also like three bucks. Um, and I've had it for since summer and it's just really nice. It's see-through. So I like to use it as working out or like sleeping wear. Cause I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of like see-through clothes for, you know, during the day. And then these leggings, which I love, they have like little stripes where you can accentuate parts of your legs. These are from Walmart as well. Um, and I think these were 14, but they're my favorite ones. They're not good to run in, I will let you know. Um, they like to slide down and that just doesn't do much good for anything, but no, it's really nice. It's, um, I don't know, they're really comfy and I use them kind of around the room as well. But, and then my NAU socks which I love, but I might take those off because these floors are very slippery, but yeah, wish me luck. So just finished my workout. It was okay. For some reason it was a lot harder than I wanted it to be, <laughs> but that's good. It worked me hard. Um, I'm just really out of shape. So this goal of losing weight, is definitely going to be difficult. It's definitely going to be challenging. Um, but I think with everyone's support and um really trying to eat well and working out every day every day it's gonna be a struggle so that might be like four times a week um but i think i really can do it i don't have a like pound goal in mind um just because whenever i make those types of goals um kind of beat myself up really easy so I'm just going to make an overall goal um, of being healthy and um, trying really hard to change what I eat and um, changing what I eat is going to be even more of a struggle than working out because um, I think that's where I fault the most um, is eating and that's why I gain so much weight. But um, so I'm going to take a shower and rinse this grossness out of my hair. And then what else am I going to have to do today? I need to um, finish studying and I'm going to clean the bathroom. So um, I'll show that. It's not really that big of a deal type thing because um, our bathroom just consists of a toilet and a shower. But um, I'll still show that because I think that's um, cleaning is really motivating to me. And um, maybe for you guys, if you need to clean your bathroom or clean your room and seeing that, maybe we'll just bump you up to go and do it. So um, I'll come back when shower's done and ready to clean the bathroom. So see you guys in a bit. Last task of the day was to clean the bathroom. My roommate and I, we switch off every week who cleans the bathroom. So this week was mine and I started off with the toilet, which isn't really anything special, but um, I had, <laughs> My boyfriend filmed me so if you see me talking or you see his thumb which he likes to give thumbs up that's him um, clearly we have the same mindset because I do thumbs up a lot in this video so I scrub it inside first and then 
Um, I use Clorox wipes about like each different section I would say and um, so I do that all over and then I move on to the shower which is also no special task because our showers are new um, so they're not stained or really gross um, and because we wash it every week it's not something that needs intensive cleaning same with the toilet it's really not bad um, it just gets pretty dusty so that's why if you see me spending so much time on one section um, it's just a lot of dust and Clorox wipes don't like to pick it up as easy as you'd like it to. So to clean the shower we spritz it down with a um, like antibacterial spray and then I turn on really hot water and just scrub it with a uh, little sponge. I was originally using Bees Cleaner but um, I like this better because it whitens. Um, Bees Cleaner does its job um, but my roommate had bought cleaning supplies and I thought I'd use them so I'm gonna finish cleaning the bathroom for the tub <laughs> And then I'm going to move on to mopping, which you'll see me here in a second. Get up and go grab it. You can also see here I'm um, in these clips of my hair. I didn't end up filming um, a showing of my hair after the mask but it ended up being really thick throughout the week, which was surprising to me. And then it was also really shiny and um, unfortunately I didn't style it this week, so um, I wasn't really able to see the big of, biggest difference, but I really enjoyed it and it made my hair feel really fresh afterwards. And I couldn't get the mop to work, it was really embarrassing, but that's okay. We're all human. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like, comment, and um, subscribe below. Thank you. See you soon.